In this video, we're going to be opening ammonites, cracking huge boulders, excavating squid fossils, and much more. So let's get started. This rock contains a golden ammonite, so let's crack it open. Oh, incredible. That's a lovely specimen. It's so golden. I'm really pleased with that one. This worn old rock looked like it could contain a fossil. We opened it up with our hammer. It took a few hits from the hammer, but eventually we got a split through the first part of the rock. Completely empty so far. Opening the rest of it, inside, there was nothing but modern day sea creatures. Better look next time. got here this really large rock which hopefully contains a big ammonite so let's crack it open put my safety glasses on so we can open it up there we go we've got a split all the way around let's see what's inside Oh my gosh, it did. It contained a huge ammonite fossil. That's incredible. This is seriously impressive. Looks to be totally 3D as well. That's definitely one to prepare up for the collection. Well, it's safe to say I'm really pleased with this fossil. Hopefully we find some even bigger examples of this species in the future. We found this enormous boulder down by the beach. Lifting it on its edge, we began opening it with our hammer. Quite quickly, we started to establish a crack. And before we knew it, it opened. Looking inside, there was a poorly preserved fossil. But alongside that, there was lots of really gorgeous calcite. Just look at that. It's an ammonite rock that's just started to reveal itself. You can see it just under this slab. We're going to remove some of the shingle and then with our hammer and chisel, we're going to extract the entire nodule. There we go. Let's split it open. Okay, you can see a thin layer of pyrite surrounding the entire nodule. Completely empty. It's worth checking just to make sure. You never know, next time might get a nice surprise.
This large, freshly exposed rock looked to contain an equally huge ammonite fossil preserved within. Using our hammer and chisel, we gently excavated it. Next thing, we'll crack it open. Jamming it between the rocks keeps it in position. Just do a few light taps just to bed the chisel in place. There we go, it's a perfect split. Oh, lovely, it's a really nice Hildoceros. Lovely and pirateized, it's some nice gold. That's awesome. Really pleased with that one. Laid within some soft shale, there were three squid fossils, all preserved. We're going to excavate the perfect specimen on the right. Removing some of the soft shale, we gently start to expose the fossil. These are almost always naturally fractured as found, so we gently remove each piece. Putting it back together, we can see a perfect Jurassic squid fossil we'll be able to take it home and fully restore the rest of it. It's a really nice find that we found, literally just laid there, waiting to be exposed. A rough sea had exposed this incredible Jurassic squid fossil. The start of it had already been revealed by the sea, but using our tools we began excavating the rest of it. Gently approaching closer and closer to the fossil, we finally had revealed it. Gently lifting it out, it's absolutely perfect, fully intact. It's unbelievable to think that a 180 million year old fossil like this was just laid there waiting to be found. Upon opening this nodule, it was unfortunately completely empty. But coming up next is one of our favourite recent ammonite openings. We found this small pebble and decided to extract it. Immediately, we noticed a fossil inside. Starting to crack it open with our hammer, a crack formed right along the edge of the fossil. Oh, look at that. That's insane. It's popped both sides. That is really nice. Really pleased with that. Oh, wow, that's incredible. That's a beauty. 